So I see that you're not subscribed, which is kind of a big problem. So I would suggest that you subscribe, you like, and you comment. Because if not, it will not be pretty for you. Also, down in the description, there are the links for all of our social medias. I suggest that you follow that as well. Because like I said before, if not, I will find you. And it will not be pretty and you won't get to live another day. Thank you. The whole Avatar thing is going bananas on Netflix, bruh. They bringing back um, Avatar. I got a lot of things to talk about, but Michael's the expert here because he's the only one that has watched the yeah. new show of Avatar. So, yeah, explain, man. What, what you got for us, man? Man, so... The Avatar show dropped last week. Um, I was very excited for it because, you know, I grew up watching Avatar. And I really enjoyed it, like the cartoon. Like yeah. I was a big fan. Um, um. So yeah, basically the show is they're basically covering what happens in the actual cartoon, but there are some differences, and that uh, there there are some some things that happens in the show that didn't happen in the in the cartoon, but. But it, it like has to do with the story. Um, so I'm only on episode six. I think I have two more episodes to go. So I'm not completely done with the show. But wait, they. But so uh, far, Mike, they they come out with a new episode every day. Or no, is it a they dropped season? the whole season. Oh, is they dropped season? the whole season. Oh damn! Because I I thought they doing it like um. Uh, new episode every day type stuff. I, I didn't know they still dropping nah. the whole seasons. Now Netflix always drops the whole season at once. Oh. HBO is where is where you have to wait every like Sunday. Like for example, Euphoria, you have to wait every Sunday for the new episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but um so far, in my opinion, and a lot of people agree with what I have to say. The show isn't, it's not great, like, it, it's not, it's not amazing or anything, it's just, it's also not bad. Yeah. So, it's, it's okay. It is a letdown, because a lot of us expected, expected the show to be good, especially after that piece of shit movie that we got back in 2010 the live action movie um so yeah it, it was a letdown but the only the only thing i could say the acting at at times the acting was good but at other times the acting was a little bit like meh yeah. um and then some of the characters or, or some of the actors who were casted i don't think were the right actors for their role. I'm not going to say exactly who, but the people who watch the show, they don't know who, who I'm talking about specifically. And I think Zuko's care. It's the thing is, he's a good... He, he was pretty good. Brad, the only one that Zuko's got right character. was Aang. Yeah. I feel like Katara should have looked a little bit different. But what I see on Twitter. I think that um, Jet... Jet's actor was perfect for his role. Suki, I don't you guys know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah. yeah, and then Suki, I think she was perfect for that role. And she's hot. Um and then other than that, I mean But yeah. I just, I just think So what's your rating on the show so far? One to ten. Like a six. I give it like, like a six, yeah. Um, but hopefully the the next couple of seasons are better. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, I'm not completely done with the show yet, but I'm just going based off of what I've seen so far and what I think of it. And also, 
the CGI at times is a little bit bad. Um, sometimes you can tell that they're in a studio instead of the actual place because the CGI just isn't that good. Yeah. Um, but the the bending, I th I think that it's pretty good in the show. Um, like you know the water bending and all that shit. I think it's pretty good. The effects. Yeah. Um. And yeah. And at times I feel like the show was a little bit rushed, like things just happened too quickly. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, that's all I have to say about the show. So for me, as I was checking like all the social medias, right, about the Avatar, a lot of a lot of people liked it too. A lot of people didn't. A lot of people, as what he said, it was let down too. I haven't watched it yet, um, because. Um, I'm fi we are finishing the show because literally when I was like probably younger I never really watched it I never really got interested in watching Avatar until a couple of weeks ago when when he started putting it on and then it was like I was I was watching it it's very very interesting and then next thing I know the show is coming up in Netflix so that's one thing that we are gonna watch too yeah but I don't know I didn't watch clips because I don't want to be like having spoilers and stuff. But you know, as what um, Michael said, that there's things that a little bit different from the show or the cartoons, um, the cartoon itself. So that's one thing that we have to keep an eye to when we watch it. But this yeah, is very interesting because the last time they they had the live action, I didn't watch it too. So if it's um if it's different than this one, then I'm not I'm not sure. But if it's the same thing as the show, I would probably love it. The only problem, the only problem with um, creating these kind of um, animated shows into like live action is it's not gonna look right at all. You're never gonna get it 100 percent right because of the animation. Yeah. Like people are expecting to watch it, like how they fell in love with it in the in the animated. They want to fall in love with it. They want everything to be the same in exactly. the live action. Yeah. yeah, so far, um, some things might not be the same because they want to switch it up in stories like they do in The Walking Dead. Like, yeah. little shows that have their comic books and stuff like that, they don't go exactly on exactly. script. There's a lot. But, yeah, like, when you talk about, like, their, their bending abilities, sometimes it looks CGI or, or whatever, like, they're in the studio. I got, like, I show, I'm sure the director or whoever's making that don't want it to look fake like that but it's just so hard yeah. sometimes so that's the only problem with like live action stuff and bringing it into like like live action stuff okay. so um but as long as the storytelling i haven't watched me and her haven't watched it yet but michael has as long as the storytelling is good and the characters do what the characters supposed to do and it's funny and it has those sad moments great dramatic moments that avatar had and the backstory it should be thing. it should be pretty good man but I, i'm not expecting them to get the uh the bending yeah. and all those I, special too. effects 100 percent because it's really hard and i've watched a lot of a lot of korean shows and stuff like that 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 they do do live action and they don't even get it right 100 percent. so i just think it's it's just dif difficult to put it as live action yeah, how y'all feel it is. i feel like really it is very very difficult to do that in in real life because it's animation like it's like in your imagination you know and then putting it into real life is really really pretty hard like especially those bending like the water how it moves you have to literally you have to use the computer to do that too without even yeah. showing that it's not real but it's gonna be so hard because we're not that I mean, this technology is really upgrading throughout the years, but it can be perfect. A great thing, too, to add on is, like, the funny moments is, like, non-human uh, human stuff. So, like, they can't even make it into, like, real life. Like, a lot of, like, um, Saga drinking the, the cactus juice or whatever yeah. it was. Like, the way he was, his eyes and stuff like that. Like, they can't nail it 100%, like, the comedic aspect of it so it's good it's interesting man i can't wait to watch it i'm uh, i'm probably gonna watch it after i finish the the actual show that i'm letting her watch and then after that we come back and give our discussion but 
I did read that they're excited for Toph to come in. Ooh, that they're waiting for Toph. So, how you feel about that? I feel like Toph is going to be a game changer for the show. As soon as they introduce her. Yeah, I'm excited for that, too. Um, but, the one thing I wonder, when are they going to start filming the second season? And... Uh, Maybe maybe they already have. Maybe they they are. Maybe they're already filming it. But I don't know. Cause I feel like yes. Even though I'm not really enjoying the show that much, yeah. I still want want to see like what they're gonna do with the second season. I mean, we already know what's gonna happen. Cause they're basically whatever happened in the animated show is gonna happen in the live action show. So. We know what's gonna happen. It's just that I'm interested in seeing how are they going to, you know, show what happened in the animated show in live action. Yeah. So, and who exactly is gonna play Toph? Yeah, exactly. Who's gonna play her? That's, that's gonna be exciting. That's gonna be exciting. Um, I can't wait for it to watch it. I can't wait for Toph to be introdu- introduced. How many? How many episodes until the season's over? Because you're saying that they're going to start season two. How many episodes do I have? No, how many episodes until, until like the season's over? You don't get the, it? No. How many more episodes until the season's over, Mike? The entire season already dropped. Oh, yeah, but how many episodes they have? Eight? I think it's eight. Eight for one season. How are they going to squeeze in everything? Well, it was in the original one. Like 20. But I think... Uh The thing is, each episode is like 45 minutes. And in the cartoon, the episodes were like 20 minutes. Oh, so they're fitting everything that they can into like the first season. Okay, okay. Pretty much. All right. Um. So yeah, man, guys, make sure y'all go watch the Avatar. Give us y'all ratings on it. It's gonna be dope as hell. Hey okay, guys, thank you for watching our podcast. If you guys feel like your team haven't been mentioned in MLB, um, tell us what team you're going for, man, and let's see if we're gonna hate on y'all or not. But yeah, man, thank y'all so much. Like the video up. Subscribe to our channel. You already know all that good stuff. Join us on our next podcast. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this podcast, episode seven. But we'll see you guys next time. Peace.